Hey all, here we are for more Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is still Idrin. I'm eating! Yes, and what are you eating, Char? I'm not eating Char, that's for sure. That's good. Even the food chain's upside down. <laughs> good. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see where I want to go now, and looks like top right... There's some stuff to explore. There's some stuff so, to explore come, directly to your right. There is, but I think that's all underwater stuff. So I need to get whatever it is that lets me survive underwater to check that out. Or would it be overwater stuff? Actually, I guess it would be, yeah. <laughs> Science. Although it looks like there is an exit in a giant hallway directly to the right of here. So I'm going to make my way there. Could have made my way there before we started recording, I'm realizing now, but who cares? This is what everyone's here for. Could you make your way downtown? Uh, walking fast? Face the fasten. Homebound. Uh, I don't know the rest of that song. What we need to do is mod this game so that Alucard's just playing a piano the whole time. He isn't? I mean... What we need to do is mod you some new glasses, I guess. Oh boy. I was kidding about the glasses, but it might not be a bad idea. Yeah. It's those stupid plant things. I still don't know how to handle the once it gets in the projectile phase, so... I mean... Just gonna lame it out past them. I mean, them. the big problem's the rock guys. Well, both of them together is really the problem. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Even the even the plant women on their own don't entirely know how to handle them properly. Is that plant women or is that any women? Uh, is that the plant women or say. is that people in general? Well, I'm almost dead, so you're not almost dead. Okay, now you're almost dead. I'm. Are you gonna say it? Say what? I guess not, then. What? Well, I'm at 69 health, so... Oh, I didn't even notice. <sighs> nice! There you go. It looks so weird. A little bit. That looks weird. You could bat up there. Yeah, I could. That's actually where we came from. Is it? No, oh, I guess yep, it is. We fell down. Yeah, we fell down here to get down into these caverns or up into these caverns or whatever. I don't know. My memory for this thing that totally just happened is really bad. Also reminds me that once I do get the underwater thing, I should go back to these caverns in the normal castle as well and do some exploration. I'm actually surprised I haven't found it yet. I thought I'd already gotten all the movement stuff I was going to be getting. Until I remembered water is a thing. Water is a thing. Shouldn't it only be running water that gives Alucard problems? You'd think. Maybe it's because he's half vampire. He must freak. <laughs> oh yes, those classic trollish explosions of magical energy. That's exactly what they're all known for. With the big, uh, sort of Celtic-ish design. Exactly. To be fair, these things don't look anything like trolls. That's true. I don't even know what they really look like. Yeah, it's one of these guys. All alone. Didn't get invited to the Octa Party. That's so lonely. Okay, so... Yep, this is where I wanted to go. It's more exploring. More explore. Explore. Oh, it's a thing. The Alucard Shield. 
I swear we found that last time. Maybe it was the Alcard armor we found last time. Yep. It's here, the Alcard mail. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. You know, it's a felony if anyone else wears that. I've heard that. They can be arrested by the Postal Service. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what the Alucard shield does. Better not tell the FBI that you're wearing Joseph's cloak. Shh. There it is. Strong versus all attacks. Well, that sounds nice. I like being strong against all attacks. What if it's like all elemental attacks? Eh, that's still not bad. Like, what if the only thing it protects you from is getting hit by literally every monster at the same exact time? <laughs> I'm just checking out these giant fish down there. Up there. Whatever. Even the sense of direction's upside down. It wasn't that funny. Uh, the trolls were, though. Hey! What? Oh, that's what those are. Okay. I was wondering what was tongue-spearing me. There's Weird. only so many things it could have been, and it wasn't the octopus. I thought maybe there was some kind of underwater thing I didn't see. Let's see if I can pull this off this time. Flashing, but I'm not saying the thing. Oh, I'm flashing because I'm shooting the gun. Ah, oh, well. Now, maybe I should actually try the Alucard shield. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that didn't do huh. shit. Nope. How many potions? Nope. Let's see if I've got any potions. You don't. Uh, at least I've got foods. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Potro sounds good about now. Maybe some sirloin to go with that. Mmm, delicious. It's a very balanced meal. Very balanced. Make sure to get some cheese so that you never poop again. Oh, good point. Just get everything all gummed up. There we go. Wow, she doesn't do much for you. It does not. But really, isn't that kind of what I deserve right now? Or the peanuts. Difficult to eat, apparently. Peanuts are difficult to eat? I guess so. Since when? Maybe they're not shelled. Nalkar doesn't know how to get them open. Maybe, like, they're still in the ground or whatever. <laughs> but also in his inventory? Yes. He's got the ground in his inventory. He's just got a big clump of dirt. It's full of peanuts. <laughs> Maybe he's just befuddled by the concept of legumes. I know I am. I'm also befuddled by the concept of not eating on camera. Apparently so. Look, you can't have an Alucard bust out a pot roast and not have me be like, mmm, crackers. I'm pretty sure I can. You can't. I can also be just slaughtered by this jack of bones one point at a time. Look, you can't fight jack bones and not expect me to get hungry. Jack-of-all-bones, master of none. I think we made that joke already. Uh, I don't care. I never claimed to be original. Barbos has, like, little T-Rex arms. Let's say Ouroboros, I'm an Ouroboros. Same thing. I oh, huh. Hadn't noticed. Oh, okay. What's going what's going on right now? Is it is it attacking the thing? I think it is. Huh. I guess I freed it by killing its rider? I guess. 
Huh. Okay, then. Well, he's your buddy now. Apparently the wargs do not have that same, uh... Same deal yeah. going on. Unfortunately. Farewell, old friend. Until we meet again. Old friend? You just met him. You tried to kill him. <laughs> he doesn't know that. I think he does know that. Eh, I've heard it both ways. You hear about Pluto? Well, that's messed up. That's messed up. We don't need our own material. We'll just recycle old material from... Oh, that's, uh, that's the entryway. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You want to make another Hammerman joke? Would you stop? <laughs> like you said, who needs new material? Not us. I already killed these guys, so I feel no guilt in doing this. You remember what I said about a Castlevania pacifist run? Uh, that I'm not any good at it? See, I would say it's that they're not really a thing, but low-level runs totally exist. Yeah. Oh god, Final Fantasy VIII's a pacifist run. <laughs> Somehow that makes so much sense. More sense than Final Fantasy VIII makes on its own. <laughs> Oh, that thing could take a hit. Or nine. Yeah. Don't get stabbed. Are you shooting the flower? Yep. Oh my god. I mean, the flower would shoot me if I let it, so... The flower did shoot fair. you several times, to be fair. Yeah. The flower shot you a whole bunch. Yeah. So it seems fair to me. I guess. Is this a new save room? Yep. Hmm. All, right. All the way over here on the right. This is a brand new area in general. And there's a thing. A fire boomerang. Okay, fire boomerang. That, that one's kind of a stretch, Char. How dare you. See, this is why we rely on the old stuff. The classics. <laughs> and that looks like it's everything in the entryway area. Huh, less than I expected. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to that... Oh, no, wait, no, that's the big waterfall room, so I can't go to the left from there. Uh... Okay, I guess if I keep going left from here, it looks like there's a blank area... ...that I could explore... ...about three, four rooms over. So, uh, leave that a try. I'm trying to remember where the hallway should be that uh, basically goes the entire length of the castle. The one that we got stuck in for the first four episodes. Right, yeah. I mean, it's got to be somewhere around this area since we're so close to the reverse entryway. Mm-hmm. How are those crackers treating you? It's crackers and cheese, thank you. Oh, fancy. It is fancy. Is that some Ritz there? It is some Ritz, actually. Nice. They were on sale. The best kind of Ritz. And I am a thrifty consumer. I'm not. Please like, comment, and subscribe so I get more money. We don't get any money for this. 
I'm not sure how to turn this into a you're getting paid joke. Looks like I'll have to give it the axe. <laughs> Problem is, my good material is solid four seconds behind what's actually going on. The, the other problem is it's not your good material that I'm most tickled by, apparently. It's the stupid puns. Calling that a pun was uh, maybe a little too generous. <laughs> That's fair. Even the okay. impaled corpses are upside down. Well, more life is always good. Oh, yeah, I can just go down here and then... Around, there's some doorways down here. Yeah, there's some doorways down there. Oh, hey, it's an old TV. Talisman. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I'll give that a try. Not exactly sure what it means, but... All right. It means it has permission to take damage taken. Yeah. I guess that is kind of straightforward when you think about it. Oh, there's another door up there, so I'll check that out before I head to the left. It didn't say it can, it said it may. Properly. Come on, your mom's a teacher. You never got into the old can versus may? Nah, she never did that to me. Did she do it to anyone else? Uh, maybe in English classes, but I don't think I ever actually had one of hers. I thought she was a science teacher. She was a substitute for a while, so she taught basically everything. And then once she became a, a full-time teacher, she focused on science. What do you- just go down. Oh, right, down exists. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe I wanted to see how many jacks it had. What are those jacks made out of? Uh, bones. Yeah, I've already been that way. I mean, there's some to explore over there, but I'll go to the other door first instead. Anyway, I remember one time when she was uh, substituting for the Spanish teacher, and she was literally doing the thing where she keeps one lesson ahead of the students for, like, a month or so. <laughs> There's, like, a long-term absence. Uh-huh. She enjoyed that. I had my senior year of high school. Uh, the math teacher had his first baby midway... What was that? Did you see that? Uh, see what? There's a like lot of a stuff happened. There's like a ghostly Alucard just fell out of you. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, maybe that's the talisman. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Kind of. Yeah. Anyway, your math teacher. Yeah, so the math teacher had his first kid, like, midway through the year. I'm talking, like, early December. And, um... I guess the arrangement with the school was that he had to... Like, so long as he handled his own... Yeah, that's gotta be the talisman. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? Uh, I tried to watch out for it. I didn't notice it there, but I'll keep my eyes open for it. So anyway, I think the deal with the school was that, like, any term of absence was fine so long as he had arranged for the substitute. Mm -hmm. And... His father was a like licensed substitute or whatever uh. and of course he had the same last name so we just show up to class one day and this super old dude with the same last name has his you know, last name written across the board and I mean, I, I was familiar with this teacher and his dad before, so I knew exactly what was going on. But this other guy was like, yeah. what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and 
And uh, that was the year that uh, I stopped having a math class after maybe December? Maybe November, actually. Um, <laughs> I remember we watched a lot of Sydney Poitier movies. <laughs> was there even any attempt at an excuse for it, or just, yeah, let's do this? He just, he stopped caring. Yeah. Just straight out. Um... Especially because this term of absence was so long that uh, we I think we ended up having his dad for more of the year than we had him. <laughs> um, let's see. Assuming that he, he peaced out in December, the timeline would say that I was openly playing Pokemon Ruby in class, not even trying to hide it, and probably... January. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, that is the same period of time in which I was being an idiot with a pencil and got pencil heads stuck in my thumb that's still there. What? Yeah, I never told you that? No. Yeah, I just got a chunk of graphite in my thumb because I was dicking around with a pencil. Ow. Yeah, do you understand now why I have issues with, like, people getting stabbed? I did not I did not actually know you did have issues with being stabbed, so that's good to know. I would say most people have issues with being stabbed. Well, that's true, but I meant issues beyond the normal person. Have you ever thought about all of the stabbing that Alucard does and how it probably is not appreciated by anyone in this castle? I never did, no. Although, really, don't forget that a lot of it is just slashing rather than stabbing, so maybe that helps. I swear you were going to say it's slapping, and I was like, that's not really better. <laughs> like, yeah, it's kind of better. It's also not. Even after uh, my math teacher came back, I still just kept playing Pokemon, because at that point, he didn't care. Yeah. Um, there was one day, which was admittedly, I, I think it might have been the last class. It's the last class I remember. Mm hmm where he sent he sent a couple of the, the girls out to get pupusas. <laughs> to get what? Pupusas. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming some it's, kind of food. Uh, it's a uh, Mexican or Spanish food. I don't know which one. Ah. It's it's like a it's like um what's the best way to put it? It's it's kind of like a like a ravioli. Ah. Or like a hot pocket. They're very ah. good. Um but dude saw me playing Pokemon and came over and was like oh that looks legit what is that <laughs> <laughs> so did the administration just like not even care themselves they did not give a shit that wasn't a very good school I'm guessing uh well, you see, the thing was that we had been featured on National Geographic, and after that, they stopped caring. Ah. Yeah, they just totally stopped caring after that. Yeah, that sounds right. They got their thing. They were done. Yeah. Uh, that was the same school where... This entire episode is just going to be Shara's school stories. <laughs> uh, uh, hang on a second. My dog is going crazy. All right, well, Char's back. Hello. And Dog is taken care of. And Char was telling us another story about school. Uh, that was the same academic institution where I had the same teacher three years in a row for slightly different topics. Um, <laughs> this dude was getting his ass kicked by armor. Is this the same? This is the same guy you always have problems with. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that guy. That's the wrong animal. That's the wrong animal. <laughs> there we go. That's the right animal. Is fog an animal? Uh, why am I even going this way? I don't know. Um, no, I guess fog's technically a vegetable. Good. Good. 
Anyway. So, same teacher three years in a row. Uh, this dude... Uh, the three years I had him were the first three years he taught. Um, mm -hmm. He was one of those where he was actually like a dot-com mogul when the internet uh. was getting started and there was the, the huge dot-com boom. And he sold out yep, before yep. that bubble burst, so he was actually like profoundly rich. And <laughs> lucky guy, and he was just bored, and he was bored as hell, and was like, "I'm gonna go teach. I'm gonna go teach computer stuff to idiot kids." <laughs> uh, I sh I know I told you about this guy before because this is the guy who accidentally showed us Ninja Scroll in class. I do remember you telling me about that. Uh, he showed us Ninja Scroll in class towards the end of the year when, of course, everyone gave up. Man, I am making this school sound amazing. Um, <laughs> and he was like, alright, I have a whole bunch of grading to do, so I'm going to be in my office. Because he had one of those, like, separate offices that was attached to his primary classroom. Yeah. She's like, alright, I'll be in my office yeah. if anyone needs, but otherwise, do whatever, I don't care. Just don't start a fire. And if you are unfamiliar with Ninja Scroll, it is quite violent, and there is a graphic uh, rape scene. We should probably put a trigger warning on that. That part I didn't yeah, know about it. There is there is a uh, pretty graphic scene, and that is exactly when the teacher walked back into the room. And he hurried over. Amazing. Hurried over and quickly turned the TV off and stood there for a minute and said, Today we're going to learn about secrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the funny thing is. That was just. The funny thing. Well. That was. Uh, break the. Break the. Uh, the yeah. That was the first year of teaching. The third year of teaching, I had him <laughs> for a film editing and appreciation class, which was basically, he basically duped the school into buying a whole bunch of, like, really nice Mac computers for film editing, and then invited uh -huh. all of his favorite students to just come watch movies all the time. Uh, and in that <laughs> class, we watched, we watched Snatch, uh, we watched The Big Lebowski, oh, uh... <laughs> we watched a little bit of Red Dragon. I don't remember finishing it. Uh, we watched E2 Mama Tambien, which... That one I don't know anything about, so I don't know how bad that uh, is. I don't remember much about it. I just know that it's quite sexual, and the title mm. of it translates to And Your Mom Too. <laughs> so you kind of know where that's going. <laughs> Hey, a save room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I found out sometime after, like, I'm talking like a couple years ago, that he had been arrested and indicted for stealing several hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff from the school system. Why? I thought you were saying he was rich. He was also bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the sort of thing, I don't know why he did it. Yeah. I couldn't tell you why he did it. I don't particularly care why he did it. 